Hello, it's me again, Vlad, and today I'm going to tell you about work. What is work in physics? Well, work is the amount of energy transformed from one form into another when a force moves. So, if a force F newtons makes a body move S meters, it does an amount of work equal to force multiplied by distance. Since work is the amount of energy transformed, it's measured in joules. Well, force is of course measured in newtons and distance in meters. But there's one important feature to work. Well, for example, if you carry your shopping home, you apply a force that acts upwards, that is, you need to lift the bags, and then you carry it along the road, so that your displacement is horizontal. In this case, we say that you're not doing any work because the force is not in the direction of the displacement. So, we'll have to rewrite the equation like this. Work is force multiplied by displacement and multiplied by the cosine of the angle between force and displacement. That is, when the force is perpendicular to the displacement, cosine 90 is zero. And so the total work is zero. So if the force is perpendicular to displacement, you're not doing any work. A simple example. A woman is pushing her car and she's applying a force of 400 newtons at an angle of 12 degrees. Well, this diagram is not to scale. So, and the car is moving 15 meters. So, what is the work done by the woman? Well, we're applying the previous formula. Work is equal to force multiplied by displacement and multiplied by the cosine of the angle. And cosine 12 degrees. So, plugging in 400 multiplied by 15 and multiplied by cosine 12, we get 5,900 joules, correct, to two significant figures. 5,900 joules of the chemical energy in her muscles was converted into heat. Well, yes, the work is done against the force of friction so this energy has been converted into heat. When we lift objects, we do work because a force is moving. To lift an object, we have to apply a force that is equal to the weight. So we can find the work by multiplying weight by the vertical distance traveled. A man lifts a 120 kilogram mass to a height of two and a half meters. Now, we need to find the amount of work done by the man. So, work is force multiplied by distance. Cosine theta in our case is one because the angle is zero, the angle between the force and the distance. So work is force times distance, and as we said earlier, force has to be equal to the weight, because that's the minimum force you need to lift an object. So weight is equal to mass multiplied by gravitational field strength, so it's 120 multiplied by gravitational field strength on the Earth is approximately 10 newtons per kilogram, so it's 1,200 newtons. So to calculate work, we need to multiply force, which is 1,200, by 2.5. So work is equal to 
1,200 multiplied by 2.5, 3,000 joules. So the man has done 3,000 joules of work. As I said earlier, work is the amount of energy transformed from one form into another. And in this case, the energy in his muscles, the chemical energy, has been transformed into another type of energy, into gravitational potential energy of the weight. So, now you know that sitting in the office is not doing work. Carrying your shopping home is not doing work. But lifting is work. Thank you. Goodbye.